If after using the jump and or orchestral speech it becomes apparent that the listener still hasn't understood you, in some situations texting the problem word may then be the best way to get the message across. In this slideshow I'll discuss how in some situations the jump and orchestral speech can be combined with text messages to ensure that you do get a message across and consequently also to reduce your fear of blocking. One of the most challenging experiences for many people who stammer is buying a ticket or other item in a situation where there's a limited window of opportunity to speak. Especially difficult are situations where there are other people queuing behind you who are in a hurry or who are perhaps concerned that they might miss their train. In such situations, orchestral speech is the most suitable method to use to get your request across because if you do it properly, it'll prevent you from blocking and will give you full control over the speed with which you get the words out. However, the drawback with orchestral speech is that although what you say will be fluent and will come out at an appropriate speech rate, it might not come out sufficiently accurately for the person serving you to be able to recognize what you're asking for. Luckily, in such speaking situations, because you already know in advance exactly what it is that you need to ask for, you can pre-prepare some or all of it of the request on your mobile phone as a backup, just in case the person serving you fails to understand you when you've used orchestral speech. So if he or she hasn't understood you, rather than try to speak again, you can just hold up the screen for them to read the message on it. In our experience, simply knowing that you have the message pre-prepared as a backup can itself substantially reduce your fear of communication failure, and this, in itself, substantially reduces the chances of the words coming out wrongly when you say them using orchestral speech. So, more often than not, you'll not need to show the text message after all. The key to success when using text messages in this way is to maintain a pragmatic approach and only use them in situations where there is a reasonable likelihood that they will actually help you get the message across more quickly and efficiently than you would otherwise be able to. This approach works well if you know in advance exactly what you need to ask for and can have a suitable text pre-prepared. However, may not work it may not work so well if you need to start creating the text message while the person serving you is waiting for your response especially if he or she doesn't realize what you're doing at such times it may be more appropriate to resort to using strict syllable timed speech instead repeating the entire request in time to an in imaginary metronome beat one syllable per beat Inevitably, there will be times when everything fails, and occasionally you may end up momentarily slipping right back into your old habits of trying to push through the block and producing secondary symptoms. If this does happen, don't worry too much. Providing you're continuing to become more proficient at using techniques like the jump and orchestral speech, and are using them successfully in the majority of speaking situations, the frequency with which difficult situations overwhelm you will decrease. So it's better to continue to attempt such situations and experience occasional failure than to avoid them altogether out of fear of failure. Texting during Skype conversations with Skype Instant Messenger. The advent of audiovisual communication media such as Skype have provided a unique opportunity to practice the jump and develop a high level of proficiency in its use. Combining the jump with Skype text messaging can be particularly helpful when you're first beginning to use the technique and can be especially helpful if you have a severe stammer and find it difficult to say any words at all without blocking. 
For the combination to work well, you need a computer that has a keyboard that's easy to type with. Touch screens are not as good as the old-fashioned keyboards. And you also need to be relatively proficient and fast at typing. Although if you stammer very severely, this method will still help you even if your typing is quite slow. Make sure when you start the Skype conversation that you're in a position where you'll be able to type if necessary and that the Skype instant messaging box is visible on your screen. This won't be possible if the video screen from your conversation partner is on full screen view. You'll need to forewarn your conversation partner of what you're doing and he or she will also need to have their Skype instant messaging box vis visible on their screen. However, they don't need to have access to a keyboard as there's no need for them to, s to do any messaging in return. Unless, of course, they also stammer and are practicing the jump. The procedure is very straightforward. First of all, speak normally without using any technique whatsoever. Then, if you get stuck on a sound in a word, stop immediately and let go entirely of your attempt to speak that sound. And instead, immediately text the word that contains a problem sound to your conversation partner using Skype Instant Messenger. You need to press Enter or the Return button to send the message. Then, as soon as you've pressed Enter, start speaking again from the next sound, if you're able to. Depending on how long the word is, this may mean restarting a bit further into the word, in which case you'll effectively be saying the remainder of the word that you've already written down, or if it's a short single syllable word, you may restart on the next word. Either way, keep moving forward. Try to avoid going back and repeating the sound you originally got stuck on. If you find yourself experiencing difficulty restarting, give up immediately and jump to the next sound, and if necessary to the sound after that. If you have difficulty restarting on a new word, stop and text that word as well before you restart, and so on. Continue in this way until you get to the end of whatever it is that you want to say. Importantly, don't go back to attempt the sounds that you got stuck on again. Just keep moving forward, saying what you can say and jumping over what you can't say. Texting the problem words to your conversation partner relieves you from the worry that he or she won't be able to understand those words. So this makes it much easier to feel confident jumping. It should help you to overcome any desire to go back and try to say the problem sounds again. For a practical example of jumping and texting with Skype, click on the link on this slide and you can see a YouTube demo video of the process in action.